my YouTube channel. It's African Queen Grace. I'm excited to be back. We've been talking about all things Kisumu, showing you what the best of Kisumu there is so that when you come to Kisumu, you can exploit and enjoy those things. So today we have a guest. Yay! Oh my God! <laughs> Guys, before she introduces herself, I know some of you know her. But I'm so, so excited. She's not known me by person, but of course, like Queen of the Nights, we are so many. And then I've always also been following her on social media. So I'm so excited. She honored my request. And so we are here with her today. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for having me, African Queen. Oh. Um, it's, it's an honor. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. So she's going to, we are just going to do Q&A. Um, she's done so much on social media. I know people have always wanted to know how to grow in social media. So she's going to give us tips. And then she's going to talk about random things. You know, she's always, eh, she talks about those things that people don't like to talk about. <laughs> so we want to know a little bit about her personality and where she gets that strength from. Yeah. So Jean, maybe if you introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Jean Ayako uh, from Awendo, Kenya. So, Luos I'm Nyarsa Kwa Awendo. Uh, I live in Houston, Texas. I'm a registered nurse and a child nurse right now. Wow. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and uh, I'm the founder of Queens of the Nile. And yeah, that's it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. So we are going to unpack a little bit. Yes. So tell us how you started on social media. Like, I know you're so much on Facebook. Yeah. What gave you the drive? Because I know people get scared, like, going online. Yeah. So... Do you want me to be real or do you want me to be politically correct? <laughs> no, you tell us. Okay, yourself. so really, yeah. it was when I got my clout, really, was in uh, 2016 when, right before election, there was this group that was formed called Take On. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, people used to be so dejected in that group. So I used to, I started doing live videos there, just encouraging people from Nyanza and you know that kind of stuff and people really really liked my content so I moved to my wall mm -hmm. where I started doing you know those encouraging videos mm -hmm. also um, there's this group called Kenyan women in the US uh, I used to do a lot of videos motivational speaking there and most of people women which involves several tribes in Kenya used to follow me too so I got a lot of support and then that video about Nico Diambo mm -hmm. just pushed me to a different trajectory people started following me on social media and yeah that's it in a nutshell wow, wow. <laughs> yeah. so what do you like about it i like what i like about um doing live videos is i can be in my outer ego that's an outer ego it's not who i am like in real life um <laughs> that's the bold. one we know that's the person we know yeah, yes you guys yeah. know my outer ego so when i go live i look at the camera and I look at that, okay, those are the people. And I can just speak my mind and say what I want. Before I used to be a little controlled because of my parents. Mm -hmm. I used to think they would be offended. Then there's a time I opened up and they were all commenting about the video. And I was like, oh, okay, so it's not that bad. It's I okay. can just speak my mind. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, because I, what I like about you is you don't make issues personal. No. And I like that you always <laughs> say that, like, it's not personal. We are yeah. talking about what it is. And then you touch about, you know, political issues that yeah. are happening in Kenya. Yeah. And I'm always like, wow, do I ever get that strength? Because <laughs> to be honest, even in my YouTube, I yeah. try to avoid like politics. politics. I don't like going to them because I'm like, Ooh, I don't know how to manage that. Yeah, so the reason why I talk about politics is because politics affects us. Uh, I know politics can be offensive. Mm -hmm. I have both followers from Kikuyu, Luo. I have followers from all tribes. Mm -hmm. But when you bring about issues, make it personal, things that people, it affects everybody, be it Kikuyu, Luo, Kalenji, it affects all of us. You don't make it like you're insulting or going yes. too hard on the politicians, yes. but you have to bring up these issues because I'm a Libra. We are very into balance. The scale is our sign. We love fairness. We love social justice. I might be quiet, but at some point I'll just burst and I have to speak about social mm -hmm. justice because these things affect us. Mm -hmm. Like for example, when they increased gas, yes. you know, that was, that, that affected a lot of middle class. It affected everybody, yeah. even the people who pump gas at the gas station. Mm -hmm. So it's something I had to speak about. Yeah. It affects everybody, whether you're Kikuyu or not. So that's why I talk about politics. When you talk about politics objectively, yeah. then it's everybody, okay. it, it yeah. resonates to everybody. But when you go and start insulting Raila, Ruto, yeah. Ruru, that's yeah. when now it becomes something else. Okay. Yeah. How do you deal with bullies? Oh, honey, do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm always, I'm always scared of that. It space. will happen to you. 
I'm just telling you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the first time it happens to you, it's mm -hmm. very traumatizing. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was very hard. This was 2018. Mm -hmm. I still remember. It was February. I was in LA, mm -hmm. and a bunch of women just ganged up on me, and I was so hard. Thank God I was on vacation. Mm -hmm. So that kind of helped kill the edge. Mm -hmm. It's as if God knew I needed to be on vacation when this is happening. That the first time it happened, I was sad. The second time it happened again in 2018. I was just like, okay, this is, I'm kind of used to it. It's not that painful. Mm. But when it happened again in 2021, in February again, February, hey, Yawa, oh my what is it with February? <laughs> it happened again, but this time yeah. I became, uh, I know we can't say this on YouTube, I became a bee. Mm. Yeah, I had to go for the jugular mm. for my bullies. Mm. Yeah, because I read a lot of 48 laws of power. Mm. There's something about when someone attacks you, you attack what means most to them. Mm. I'm not the kind of person that, oh, be the bigger person. No, mm. I'm not the bigger person to bullies. We have to be petty together. Mm. We're going underground together. Mm. So I went for this woman. She started bullying me. I ignored it the first time, but then now I went for her business. And her business was really bad. People were complaining to me, but I protected her because mm. she was my friend. Mm. But then I was like, no, enough is enough. Do you know this lady does one, two, three? I don't want to talk about her. Mm. One, two, three about her business. So you put your enemy on defense. Mm. They'll be defending their business. Up to today, this lady is defending her business. I don't like when people attack me when I've not done anything to you. In Kijalu, we say, Anokaja Kenya. Mm. But if you come at me right now, now that I know better, mm. You'll get, get yeah, you'll <laughs> get, get it you, you, as you want yeah, it. Fire by fire. Yeah, yeah. That's the only way you deal with Kenyans, unfortunately. In America, it's a different ballgame. Mm. In America, when people come at you, it's like they're trying to understand you. Mm. When you explain it to them, they're like, oh, I get it. Mm. And they leave you alone. Mm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that has always been scary. And I think uh, many people who want to get into social media, they don't know how to deal with that space. Because everybody wants to voice their opinion, even on how you dress. As simple as you just woke up, you felt smart when you're leaving the house, but all of a sudden when they see that video or they see that picture, they want to voice all, and they pick on nitty gritty things. Like, this morning. Oh my God, yeah. what's going on? And you're like, you don't need to, you, why don't you look at the positive rather than the negatives? Yeah. It happened to me this morning. Wow. I posted in Pins on the Nile wanting a makeup artist, a low makeup artist to promote them. Yes. Because it's Pins of the Nile. The people going through a lot because of the mm. pandemic. Yes. So I got this uh, queen. She's actually there mm -hmm. to do my makeup. And I posted to promote her so people can yes. know where to go yeah. to get makeup done. And um, a bunch of women came at me. Oh, it sucks, but. <laughs> It's the makeup artist that I had to kind of yeah. embellish her because yeah. she was so hard. She told me, please delete that picture. I'm so, I don't know why, why they're I was like, no, don't worry. That's mm. part of being on social media. And you get clout out of that anyway. There's some people <laughs> who look at it positively. Yes. And, and, and I don't know if this it's true, but people say that negative media actually moves faster than positive. She booked three people after that picture. She booked I'll three do, businesses yeah. to do their makeup. So. Yeah. Sometimes, so yes, you're right. Yeah. It brings you that positivity. Yeah. Now, there are those who want to go to the US to do nursing. Do you yes. think it's still lucrative? Very lucrative. Wow. Yeah, because a lot of Kenyans don't know this, but there are agencies, because there's a severe shortage of nursing mm -hmm. in America. Mm -hmm. America has about 350 million people, mm -hmm. and the nursing shortage is real. The agencies that bring nurses to, from Kenya to America. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a degree. You can be from KMTC, Kisumu, Nairobi, or wherever. Oh, really? Yes, they'll bring you. Um, it's a process that takes about two years. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, they'll file for your green card. Mm -hmm. And they'll get you a job. Mm -hmm. And you're in a contract for two years. After the two years, you can go to another state or somewhere else that you want. So these nurses are generally taken to places in the U.S. that have shortage of nurses. Yeah, so it can be a rural place, mm -hmm. but just go a year. After two US years, yes, then you can go. So there are agencies like MedPro USA. Mm -hmm. There's Avant Health and others that have not memorized, but these two are the ones that are the big ones. They're found in U Nairobi? Yeah, you just oh. go to the website, do oh, okay. Avant Health and yeah. the website and apply. You All you have to do, all you need is the diploma in nursing. You don't need a degree. 
because yeah. our oh. nurses are trained really well in Kenya. Yeah. Kenya has amazing, amazing training for nurses. My mom is a nurse too, by the way. Oh, she's... so it's <laughs> in the family. Yes, but she's 59, so I don't mm. think she's interested in that. She's about to retire, but I encourage all nurses, mm -hmm. every part of Kenya, go to Avant Health, go to Medpro USA, apply, and Kujen. If you need a host, I'm here, but you're most likely not going to be taken to Houston, Texas. Is but that where you stay? That's where you stay. Oh. You'll probably be taken to places like Mississippi, mm. Tennessee, rural areas where they really, really need it. But after that, you're good. Wow. But if they need a mentor, they can contact you. Wow. Yeah. So send you an email or? Uh, they can find me on Facebook, Jean Ayako. Yeah. That's the same it. way Ayako I send a message. Exactly. Just, <laughs> exactly. Just send me a message. Yeah. I'm not... I'm not my alter ego. Actually, in person, I'm very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very nice in person. Yeah, she is yeah. nice. Mm. And I think we need such people um, in the society. Mm -hmm. I I mean, if I had not been watching your videos, then I would not have contacted you. No, but thank it's you. because I've been watching and I see your perspective and I'm like, you have that side of me which I'm afraid to show or yeah. I'm afraid to get into. Yeah. And I was like, gosh, she's in Kisumu. I better reach out and <laughs> oh, find out thank what you. she's doing and if I can get her on my YouTube channel. Well, thank you so, so much. Thank you, again. Thank now, you for being bold enough to approach me. Most people don't. I'm nice, guys. I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's mm. talk about the juicy stuff. Yes. Relationships. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you did something about the summer bunnies. Guys are coming from the U.S. They're and here right now. I the know. summer bunnies there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they want to eh, work with them, yes. they want to eh, high pipe the, the tables a little bit. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have for the ladies? Do you think long distance relationships work? I think they do. You do? I was in a long distance relationship. I'm, I'm actually, um, I'm not supposed to be talking about this, but I am. And it works. If both of you are committed to that, if you're both, both of you are committed to the relationship, I mean, I could have talked about my sister, but I don't, she's very private, so I'm not going to talk about that, but it yeah. works, yeah. Um, some cues, maybe, something that people need to look out for? Most summer bunnies want overtime. They've worked and they're coming with a lot of money, yeah. And they're coming in for a short time. They want women to have a good time with, especially if they're not coming with their wives. Or my other wife, you will say. Or I could have a fun. Eh? Come, all bills on me. Hey, I'll pay. What do you want? Black label. They'll buy the whole thing. They're driving a four wheel drive that might be blocking a door somewhere. You know? <laughs> <laughs> They're coming. You're like, oh my God. Hey, move on in your neck. Hey, Papa God. I know. My prayers and fasting. <laughs> my friend. My friend. Do your research. This man probably have wives, kids. Because you know when they are at work, they are at work. Akiwa home ako ho. Ati, there is one thing you need to do, ladies. Tell him to show you a video of his house where he lives. Akikata, uyo akona bibi. Kwa sababu na juu bibi na watoto ako game room, wana watch TV. Ama bibi ako kitchen. But an honest man will show you the house any random time you ask. Kata show video of his house and everything. Now, don't get me wrong. Some some abanis have wives here in Kenya. But at Akuja, maybe wife ako kisum ya ko Nairobi. Mm. Eh, Nairobi, he's having fun with you. Nini nini, just be careful, guys. All I'm saying is do your due diligence. Kunywa iyo pombe, kunywa iyo chakula chakula, nona. But be very careful. Do your research. That's my advice. I what know about, the men will be pissed. I know. What about online dating? I've done online dating. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course I didn't marry those people, but it was. I met amazing guys. I, I encourage women to do online dating. You never know. Of course, you still have to do your due diligence. Um, it's amazing. You can meet amazing people because my friend just came to the US because her boyfriend in the US brought her. So it works for some people. For some people, it doesn't work. But Lipa subscription. <laughs> Lipa. <laughs> Don't go to those cheap websites. Like I'm not going to say their names. You might sue me. Don't go to cheap websites where you don't have to pay. Mm -hmm. At least pay something, guys. Even if you're there for just a month, mm -hmm. do that. And you'll get quality, man. Now, I want to ask something that um, I was just discussing with my friends today yeah. um, about having kids, like going to the spam donors and just having kids. 
what would you advise? Because I know in the African context, people are really afraid of fat. And like, what would your parents say? What would your friends say? You know, your bump is showing and you don't want to go to the nitty gritty of saying, I went to a spam bank to look for a child. Yeah. What's your view on that? My view is, it's a free world, yeah? Do whatever you do, you gotta do, right? People, women, some women don't want husbands. You know, that's what the African culture, they can't believe. Not me, obviously, guys. <laughs> but the women who just don't yeah. want husbands, yeah. our turkey husbands, mm -hmm. and they just, they want a child, but they don't want a husband. To me, it's fair game, because those palm banks are very expensive, by the way, they're not cheap. Me, I accept everybody. Do what you it's gotta okay. do. Yeah, to me it's okay. Do you? Do you, honey? Do you? Because you have the CEOs of these big companies yeah. that are too busy, they're making money, but they don't want a husband. She wants a child. She doesn't want to be with a man. So it's easier. We 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 but I want my child back. It prevents that. Yeah. Also, they do a lot of research. You can pick a child whose father donated the sperm, and that's I IQ. <laughs> Maybe Einstein is the one who told them. <laughs> to me, I'm easy. Okay. Personally, I wouldn't do it because I'm just like, if I'm my own child, hopefully, if God wants me to be a mother, it will happen or I'll do it my way, but I don't judge anyone who does it. Kill to do you. Wow. Okay, <laughs> lastly, on the relationship. Um, there's this issue of partners. You know, you don't want to get married. You just want a partner, and that's it. What's your view? I love that Oprah is doing it. Yeah. Because maybe you've made a lot of money, mm -hmm. and this person maybe okay. Not that you don't trust them, but getting married in the U.S. not mm -hmm. Kenya. I don't know about Kenya, but getting married in the U.S. is a lot of liability when you have a lot of assets. Mm -hmm. This person True. might marry you for for what? Because in Texas, if you're married for three months, mm -hmm. not three months, three years. Mm -hmm. That person is entitled to half of your property. So imagine wow. you came with all this stuff, then yeah. you get married for three years. This person is going to take half of your property that you worked so hard for. And it's not just for women. Even men now, they don't marry. Americans who are wealthy tend to just be partners on Asian yeah. and water. But funny enough, when they get married, one year later, they're divorced. I don't know what it is. Maybe the pressure of we're married. Yeah, what know. do you think? I... I, I think... Africans who should embrace it and I think it's it's more convenient than having lots of divorces thank you and it's so much in nowadays people get married six months they're divorced why don't you just Please. have a family have and a just family. enjoy life no pressure. the problem is people get judged like if you're in a relationship for again too long and I don't know what this too long is everybody feels like oh why don't you move then to the next step yeah and it's really frustrating. So I'm hoping we can open, the society can open and embrace such relationships. Yeah. But, but I don't support being engaged for five years. Because being engaged means you're intending to get married. Mm -hmm. But when a man is getting engaged for five or even more years, to me that's a red flag. There's some people who just enjoy being engaged. Just be so partners. <laughs> you don't have to be engaged. Have the rock on your finger. Um, <laughs> Thank you for coming. Oh, you're very welcome. I don't want to take so much of her time because she has gracefully have taken her away from the people who come to see her. Yeah. So I also want to be, you know, cognizant of that. Thank yeah. you so much. You're Parting welcome. shot. Parting shot is whatever I've said here is my opinion. It doesn't mean if any of you falls in that category of whatever I, I spoke against or something, it doesn't mean that I hate you. I don't know you. It's just, it's coming from a good place, yeah? yeah? yeah. It's just, she was asking me my opinion on things and I'm giving her my opinion on those things. So, yeah, thank I you like so that. much. It's not personal, It's not personal. Way. And yeah. sometimes when we're giving this, it's from a broader perspective of the society. Right. So it's not necessarily that you have someone who has done that, but we have right. friends, we have had this in the society. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, African Queen, for yeah. having me and... Let's yeah. go have fun. Sure. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much. Remember to subscribe, share with your friends, and follow her on Facebook. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.